four score and seven years ago I drank this beer. Or, no, actually, it was just last year. Last Easter, actually. Yay, Easter. I'm always happy for Easter. Easter is good. Easter is the best. So last Easter, I drank the 2020 release of Ale Song's Citra Touch of Brett, not Brett Touch of Citra, in case I'm writing that or saying that anywhere else. I'm totally going to misspeak that because for whatever reason, I've been thinking it was Brett Touch of Citra, but it's not. It is Citra Touch of Brett by Ale Song Brewing. What? Yes, Touch of Brett Citra, whatever. Um, it is a dry hopped farmhouse ale aged in French oak barrels and it features the Citra hops and the Britannomyces yeast, which are two of my absolute favorite. Um, something I really have enjoyed in exploring beer is learning what beer can be. And aging that, aging beer, is a key aspect of learning what beer can be because the beer you drink today is going to taste different a year from now, two years from now, 10 years from now. The vast majority of beers, you really shouldn't drink past six months, maybe a year at the oldest. I mean, it's not going to be poisonous. It's, it's just going to be less, less good. Uh, this is because hops, <clears throat> one of the primary flavor elements in beers is a flower and it fades and the the uh the flavor and scent and 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 smell olfactory essences you get from the hops they degrade quickly beers that age better are typically less hopped or less focused on the hops now with dry farmhouse or with farmhouse ales in general that's a little bit different because of reasons. Um, I can't, I don't know all the reasons. Uh, but aging a Saison is going to be very different from aging a Stout. All that to say, this is essentially a Saison. Actually, it's not essentially. It is a Saison. It's a seasonal farmhouse French style, Belgian style Saison. And um, it focuses on hops. So I drank this same bottling a year ago. And I will link that video somewhere here in a box. I just rewatched it to remind myself what it was that I tasted and smelled last time. I smelled tangerine and lemon and jasmine in the nose. And I tasted um, citrus and dry cracker uh, maltiness and uh, herbal and greenfield kind of uh, flavors in the, in the taste. And I highly recommend you go check that out because that beer was, this beer was two years old then, and now it's three years old. This is my last bottle of this. I did pull this out of my cupboard actually just this afternoon. Um, I attempted a quick chill. It is a bottle, um, bottle conditioned beer, and I go into that in the previous uh, video. And um, so, I don't know exactly what's going to happen right now. There might be a cut if it explodes. We'll see. Oh, yep, it wants to come out. Same as last time. Oh, it still smells so good. This is, I remember really enjoying this. And I was quite effusive in my, um, in my praise of this beer last year. <laughs> and, oh, just picking this up now again and like some yellow flowers not necessarily the jasmine i picked up last year but i also haven't stuck my nose in it yet there's some light uh citrus maybe um oh, what are those little tiny the really small citrus that are like super sharp and kind of bitter and you like come up and use them in salads not not like tangerines but tiny the tiny ones um anyways so the head, it was there. It's kind of, once again, it's it's a slightly larger bubble. It's not a creamy head. Um, it is more like a champagne head almost. 
It's pretty even colored uh, or evenly bubbled. It is crystal clear, so this has been filtered. And once again, it has that deep, like rich gold color. Mm, and it smells dry, which you'd expect. It's a dry farmhouse ale. And generally, in my experience, the Saisons, as they age, they get more dry. Y'all have seen some of those videos where it was near vinegar <laughs> in all the best ways. Yeah, so once again, okay, so definitely tangerine. There's a, a hint of a really juicy sweet peach back there. Not just a, a dry like a white peach, but actually like a yellow, almost nectarine kind of sweetness to it. But that's kind of faint towards the back end. And yeah, there's the, a, just a faint herbal floral note that's really, really quite fetching. It smells good. It smells inviting. So I'm going to accept the invitation and dive in. Mm. That's such a good beer. And so, so different from the, um, the stouts and the porters and the lagers and um, the other really delicious beers I've had recently. It's just so bright and, and vibrant. I mean, it's what the beer is. It's a very different thing from the porters and the stouts and the lagers and the others that I've been drinking lately. Yeah, it tastes like life. I agree with myself a year ago. I haven't changed my mind. It's still a great beer. And there's mustache hairs in my nose. Sorry. Um, so I'm tasting... Um, there might be a hint of a cantaloupe almost. There's a kind of a melon quality now. Um, but still, primarily, uh, really, really nice, tasty peach. Just barely ripe. And maybe a, like a softer citrus, like a mandarin, uh, a tangerine. Um, and... And that's like right up at the front, really juicy. And then you get, and I think it's a little bit uh, faded now, the, the middle notes. The, the maltiness and the herbal character are kind of together. They're, they're like the same strand now. They aren't quite as distinct as they were last year. You know how with peaches, especially um, ones that are just, just coming ripe, uh, there's the part that's like super juicy sweet peach and then there's the part that's less sweet and has a more of a, a it's not a woody uh, texture but a, almost a woody flavor um, it's usually where the fruit is firmer a little bit just just under ripe there's that which kind of lends credence to the or authenticity to to the peach the ripe peach the rest of the way this is this is this is almost like biting through a just ripe peach because you have those like juicy parts that were maybe facing the sun and then you have the parts that are just under on the other side that weren't facing the sun that were shaded um and and so that that's really 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 cool i like that it's very clean the flavors are very clean they do fill your mouth. The juiciness of the peach just fills your mouth in this really, really fresh and vibrant way. Juicy, fruity, delicious. And then you have this kind of melded, uh, malty herbal note that finishes up. Uh, I think that the citra is the citra hops. Um, they aren't tasting very. They aren't tasting very much like citrus anymore, and that is possibly opinion here <laughs> uh, not not uninformed just not based on anything but my own guesses opinion um, that the volatile compounds that are the wondrous flavors of sister hops um, are mostly gone from the beer now or fully changed into other things
so I'm not picking up citrus. Instead, it's this very nice, very delicious, kind of peach-focused, peach-centric front. And then this really nice, subtle letdown as it goes to the malts and the herb, kind of the herbal finish, kind of a green fields, uh, flowers, floral notes, and and then it's gone. Well, and then you taste it again as you exhale. Uh, and that's just a whole other great experience, because of course it is. It's a good beer. It was a good beer. It still is a good beer. I would guess, based on my own prior experience with uh, aged Saisons, that two to three years is probably the sweet spot. At that point, um, it's going to be diving a bit more into the super tart, almost acidic vinegar kind of notes that um, that have their own joys and points to enjoy about them, but uh, are less appealing. Um, even the beers that have gone that far, you can still drink them, but you'd probably prefer them a year or two earlier. So I'm going to guess that this uh, that the Touch of Brett Citra by Ale Song is best at two to three years, which means you would have had to have bought it already. So uh, if you don't, if you can't find it, I'm sorry. You'll have to enjoy it vicariously through me. And I have two videos to do it with now, so get on there. Anyways, this is Matthew enjoying Ale Song Brewing's Touch of Brett Citra, a... Um, dry French style Saison. <laughs> Let's try that again. This is Matthew. I've been enjoying Ale Song Brewing's Touch of Brett Citra, a dry French style Saison that I just got all over my hands and I will definitely enjoy the rest of this bottle today. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.